Here we go. That's what we're talking about. Look at that bad boy. Must admit, that is one of the longest, hardest, but most enjoyable <laughs> uh, days foraging I've done in a very, very long time. You know, just me, no dog, no one else, and just on a mission to get these bad boys. Just getting ready to go on a little truffle hunt to go and find, hopefully, a big bunch of winter chanterelles. Got my wellies. Got the foraging basket that I found in the shed, just dusted it down. And I got a bag which has got loads of other Tupperwares in it and some H2O. So. just come down a different track here haven't gone straight to the winter chanterelle patch because i just thought you know what there might be um i don't know there might be some other fungi about that i could particularly look for i'm actually looking for some beef steak uh maybe a bit late in the day but sometimes this patch of woods certain species tend to develop quite slowly or late so yeah maybe that might be uh, quite a nice thing to find would you believe it What's the date? 24th of November, UK. And this is a little porcini cap. Couldn't find the rest of it. Some animals had a nice meal, but that's a good find. No, no beef steak, no nothing else. But just working my way slowly up towards this, hopefully very abundant winter chanterelle patch. Um, but it would be nice to see some hedgehogs as well. Fingers crossed. Right, we're now in the area, oh crikey, where these winter chanterelles are. I've literally just found three at the moment. So it's definitely not as prolific as it has been in years gone by, but um, I'm just gonna go systematically down this path here, come back up here. You can see these pine coniferous, winter chanterelles love all of that. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll be able to fill up these baskets, but uh, at the moment, I'm struggling to even see them. I uh, haven't got my eye in, or maybe they're just not in abundance as I would like. But um, let's just keep wandering down here and just see if we can spot one or two. And I can just show you how tricky they are to spot. I can see the residues of one or two here, but come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Sometimes you can literally just get right on top of a big patch and they look just like, you know, just like brown leaves. So it's really hard to distinguish between them. I came here last year and this whole place was teeming with them. And right now, it's been a bit of a disappointment, but I have faith that we'll see some at least. Crikey. Come on. Right. Oh, 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 okay. Right, I've just seen the tiniest little one here. And that little baby. I'm not even going to pick it. Look, you can even see these little pins here. These are winter chanterelle little pins. This one here. Oh just knock that one so we're in the right area oh look and there's one sizable enough to take okay we're in action so <laughs> there's a lot more that I need to go and forage here if it's gonna take this rate I'll be here all day but fingers crossed it will pick up okay, we're starting to find a few more now little ones but they're getting bigger here we go. That's what we're talking about. Look at that bad boy. I mean, look at this one through there. There it is. Wait for it. Beauty. Right behind there. 
Right, let's get it. Oh, crikey. Oh, there she is. Oh, any more? Any more while I'm in here? Nope. Oh, great. Beauty. Well, this is a nice surprise. Oh, look at this. Cheeky little bit of hedgehog. Just trying to pop its way up. Oh, I think it is anyway. Yeah, it should be. Is it rescuable? Ugh. Little slither there. Oh, tiny bit. Let's try and get these two bits out. Oh, nice little bit there. Oh, and a delicate. These feel very soft and delicate. Oh dear, Let's get that out of it. Oh, nice. They're going to straighten the old Tupperware. Just growing in here. There is a winter chanterelle there. Just pulled this out. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Looks quite like a deceiver-ish. Could be. But look at the colour on that. Again, a bit purpley. Very nice. I'll take this one to Chanterelle, though. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Deep in the moss. Take it all. Look at this bed of moss I'm just sat in. Oh... Oh, there's a few more wind chanterelles there. You're coming. Oh, one down there as well. Oh, right in there. Just get that bit of mud off. In you go. They're such crafty little buggers, these wind chanterelles. I just found a bunch just hiding under here and like you have to take second and third looks because they're just so camouflaged. Okay, these younger ones, these younger ones maybe not. Ugh. But some of these older ones, just so hidden. Ooh. Look at that. So, just been through all of that, and this is what I've got. Literally, two hours, and I was just about to walk on to the next bit, and then on this mound here, look at this. There's some there, there's some there, some there, some there, all over this. Okay, they're not giant specimens, but, oh, oh, there's some more in the background. Oh, happy days. Yay! Some absolute giants here. Look at these. Absolute. Oh, look at that. Another one. Oh, all this lot here. Gently wiggle it out. Oh, can clean it up in a second. Oh, look at that. Look at this. In about 30 seconds, I'm finding the same amount of chanterelle as I did in about two hours nearly. But another one, another one, another one. Oh, beauty. Any more? Oh, yeah, big one here. Oh, get that bit of mud off. Another big one there. Gosh. And there's so many more in the ground that are just babies so I don't feel bad about taking these. Any more hiding? Oh yep, one more. Big one. Crikey, that little pile. Whoa, must admit that is one of the longest, hardest but most enjoyable <laughs> uh, days foraging I've done in a very very long time. You know just me, no dog, no one else and just on a mission to get these bad boys, look at that! Oh yeah, nearly, nearly a very full basket. I mean, it's quite a big basket, look at the size of it. Um, so yeah, just walking back to the car now, but there is one last little spot where I might be able to top up uh, the basket.
So we'll see. Oh, delicate little hedgehog. Look at that beauty. So this final little stop has been fruitful. We found some chanterelles as well. Gonna keep going. You can't see it, but there's winter chanterelles dotted all around here. And I've filled up my basket. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh my God. Been out four hours, soaking wet, but um, it's been a great day and I'm still going. <laughs> Currently got a little friend who's helping me forage for these winter chanterelles. Little Robin. Hello fella. I think he thinks I'm uh, doing something with food. <laughs> Hardly see me, but this is where this <laughs> winter chanterelle foraging has taken me. I am like, hold on, let me spin you around. Deep deep inside. Look, like you call these winter chanterelles right in front of me. And I've just pulled out this bad boy here. Gosh, look at that. Absolute beauties. And there's more under there. I don't know how deep I'm going to go, but we're going to find out. Well, that's it. On my way back to the car now. I had to uh, take some mushrooms out of the basket and fill up my backpack. Had to do that twice. And then, then, then I had to get out the, the plastic bag and I've managed to do a decent job on that. So yeah, pretty pretty good day for uh, foraging for winter chanterelles. I'm absolutely shattered and uh, desperately in need of uh, some food and water. It came out very underprepared, but um, yeah, good, good forage. <laughs>